we have already learnt about what a subject is and we have also seen that the subject and the verb in a sentence need to agree with each other following certain rules. Now, one of the basic rule is that the verb must agree with its subject in number and person. So, let us learn about some more rules today. These jeans dash very comfortable to wear. So, in this sentence, what is the subject? It's these jeans. Now, here you will notice that jeans is a plural. In fact, jeans is always considered as plural even if it is referring to only one piece of clothing. So, we always need to use a plural verb with jeans. So, it will be these jeans are very comfortable to wear. So, these jeans are very comfortable to wear. But if the sentence is the new pair of jeans dash not fitting me anymore. So, in this case, are we still going to use are? The new pair of jeans are not fitting me anymore? No. Why? Because in this case, what is the subject? The subject is the new pair of jeans. And what is the proper subject? I mean the noun which is the proper subject of this phrase? It is pair. Because here of jeans is describing the noun pair. Just as the new is describing the noun pair. So here pair is the noun with which the verb needs to agree. Now pair is referring to singular. Even though pair means two. But as a noun, pair is a singular noun. Hence, it will be is. So, when we are simply saying genes, in that case, genes is becoming plural and we are using plural verb with it. But if the subject is made up of some other phrases as in the new pair of or simply a pair of, in that case, what are we going to use? We are going to use a singular verb. Why is it so? Because the subject which is made up of a noun phrase containing pair of is always followed by a singular verb. So the new pair of genes is not fitting me anymore. It will not be are not fitting me anymore. Now if I say the old pairs of genes have faded. So here we have used a plural verb. Why? Because here we are not saying pair but pairs. So we are not talking about one pair but we are talking about many pairs. So this pairs is actually denoting plural. Hence we have used a plural verb. Some sheep are roaming in the field. Now when I say some I mean more than one that means plural. For sheep, you know that it does not take a separate form for the plural number. Hence, sheep is the same in singular and in plural. But this word sum is telling us that we are talking about more than one sheep. Hence, we are going to use a plural verb are roaming, not is roaming. But if I say a flock of sheep dash roaming in the field, are we still going to say a flock of sheep are roaming in the field? No. Why? Because a flock of sheep may still refer to more than one sheep. But you will note that here our proper subject is flock. And of sheep is qualifying the noun flock. And flock is a collective noun. Hence, we are going to use is roaming. So what do we see? Some sheep are roaming in the field but a flock of sheep is roaming in the field. The reason is collective nouns are always followed by singular verbs. So we need to remember this rule. So since flock is a collective noun in this case, we have used a singular verb with flock. The whole class dash been punished for misbehavior. Now here, what is the subject? The whole class. Now look at the noun. Class. Class is referring to a
collective noun when i say the whole class i am referring to many students because the class consists of many students but since class is a collective noun it will be followed by a singular verb hence we will use has so our sentence will become the whole class has been punished for misbehavior so the same rule collective nouns will always require a singular verb here our collective noun was class the indian cricket team dash reached the airport now here what should be the verb will it be has or have now in this case our subject is the indian cricket team now here our noun is team we know that a team consists of many players but team is a collective noun so it is actually referring to a collection of players hence it is a collective noun and it will be followed by a singular verb so we will say the indian cricket team has reached the airport so has reached because team is a collective noun choose the correct option what is the sentence the crowd dash gathered to watch the opera now here the options are has and have now here what do we see the subject is the crowd now what type of a noun is crowd it's a collective noun because a crowd is showing a collection of people or a group of people who have gathered to watch the opera so here it should be has it should be a singular verb because crowd is a collective noun it should be followed by the singular verb and in this case the answer would be has so the sentence becomes the crowd has gathered to watch the opera the jury has passed its verdict here you will see that jury is a collective noun and we have used has passed which is also a singular verb we have seen that for collective nouns we always use a singular verb so even in this case we see that the collective noun jury is followed by a singular verb has passed but if we say the jury are divided in their opinions what do we see we see that we are using the same collective noun which is jury but we have used a plural verb which is are in one case we have used a singular verb in the other case we have used a plural verb now what is the reason behind this well in this case you will see that the jury is working together as a unit so here all the members of the jury they are actually working as a unit and they have passed a unanimous verdict hence we consider this jury as a single unit hence we use a singular verb but if the members of the jury are divided in their opinions then we cannot consider them as a single unit so each of the members of the jury has a different opinion to share in that case the jury is not united so the jury are divided so in this case we use are to denote that the members of the jury are not unanimous in their decisions they are divided in their opinions so with words like committee jury which denote a collection of people we need to note these differences that is if they are working as a single unit they are unanimous in their decision then we consider them as singular noun and we have to use singular verbs with them but in case they are divided in their opinions then we will need to use a plural verb so in that case the jury becomes divided and hence we cannot consider them as a single unit now look at this sentence the police have caught the smugglers now here what do we see the police have caught the smugglers now in this case the subject is the police and here the noun police may at times look like a singular noun but it is not because certain nouns are always treated as 
plural nouns. One such noun is police. It is always treated as plural. So when we say police, we are actually referring to a group of people belonging to the same profession. Now, if instead of the police, we had policemen over here. In that case, the sentence would have been the policeman has caught the smugglers. But if I just say the police, then we need to use a plural verb with it. So when the police is considered as a plural noun, in that case, we have to use plural verb. But if it is simply a policeman or a policewoman, in that case, we can use a singular verb. The soup dash in the bowl. Now here the subject is the soup. Now what do we use? Is or are in this case. Now the soup, in this case soup is a noun but it is an uncountable noun. So uncountable nouns are always used with singular verbs. So the correct answer would be the soup is in the bowl. Uncountable nouns always take singular verbs. Now, if I use certain quantifiers, for example, some soup is in the bowl. So, even if I say some soup, I am referring to a certain quantity of soup. But even in that case, it will not change the verb. It will still be a singular verb. So, no matter what, with uncountable nouns, even if we use Quantifiers such as a little, much or some, it will never change the verb. The verb which is followed after an uncountable noun will always be singular. The garbage dash collected and kept in the bins. Now here, what do we see? Garbage is an uncountable noun. We cannot count garbage. So what do we use after it? We have to use is collected and kept in the bins. So, we write the garbage is collected and kept in the bins. So, uncountable nouns take singular verbs. Now, choose the correct option. What is given to us? A little t dash left in the cup. Now, here the options are was or where. Now, here what do we see? Our subject is a little t. Now t is an uncountable noun. So after t, we cannot use a plural verb. So it will always be a singular verb. Now note, before t we have a quantifier as in a little. But that will not change the verb in the sentence. Because uncountable nouns will always take a singular verb no matter what quantity is mentioned before that. So our correct answer would be a little t was left in the cup. So today what did we learn? We learned that collective nouns are always followed by singular verbs and also the uncountable nouns will be followed by singular verbs. With uncountable nouns, we should also note that even if we use quantifiers like little, some or any other words denoting the quantity of that uncountable noun, it will still take a singular verb. So take up as many examples with collective nouns and uncountable nouns and see if you can do the subject verb agreement properly. We shall soon learn about some more rules regarding subject verb agreement. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Math, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. 
That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.